Which type of traffic inspection uses pattern matching? So in here, it is, it says, so which type of traffic inspection uses pattern matching? So this means that this is an IPS question, we know that. And pattern matching should be signature-based inspection. Because it means that if this inspection looks up on a specific pattern, it means that it's about a signature. But let's speak about the other options. So policy type is policy based inspection. This clearly doesn't sound right. How could you policy based inspect by using pattern matching? Doesn't make sense. Being policy based by itself is not pattern. It is very specific. Then statistical anomaly detection. This is basically for day zero attacks. So unknown attacks which are not known. So there's no pattern to match those against. Then protocol verification. Protocol verification is used for RFC and sanity checks, not for pattern matching. So there you go. Should be signature-based inspection. And let's say next. Which two deployment options can be used for an inline deployment of a Cisco Firepower appliance? So it is for, it's important to know that it is a question about inline deployment only. So what are the two options to deploy the firepower inline? It's not about what are the options to deploy firepower. It's about what are the options to deploy firepower in inline mode. I'm insisting on this because I've, I, I've been there as well when I read a question fast and in, in, in most cases, most people, if, if you go in the exam in a rush reading a question, you would read this as which two development options can be used for a deployment of firepower. You're going to skip, you're going to oversee the inline keyword, which means you're going to not be able to provide a proper answer in the end. So let's speak about inline mode and see what are the options. Place the appliance between the router and the switch. Doesn't make sense because... The appliance, it, it's, if it's placed in line, it's placed in layer 2, and between a router and a switch, that's a layer 3 link. So that's not correct, or should not be correct. Configure the span feature, this is not in line. So spanning means promiscuous, not in line. So it means the other one should be correct, the, other two, the remaining two, but let's verify that up. So configure the appliance to act as a multi port switch, correct. That's, that's in line mode with multiple interfaces. You send a network tap between a router and a switch to send simplex mirrors of network traffic to the appliance. So that's not, a, that's a, this is again not inline. This is promiscuous, so there we go. So insert a network tap between a router and a switch, which means again, this is span. So this is span or mirroring, which is promiscuous mode, this is also span. So it actually means that the first option, it is correct, or should be. And again, it's an unfortunate answer from my point of view, because yes, this is achievable if you have the router, in here the router, and then the switch, it is misleading, of course. And you put the appliance, the firepower appliance, the firepower appliance in between. It is correct because the IP address, this can be, the router can have an IP address of 111 on that, on that, on that uh, interface. 111, let's say. And the switch can have an IP address of, let's say, 1112. So because the VLAN endpoints or the layered fee endpoints of the broadcast domain are on the router and possibly on the switch or on some remote uh, device, then in this case, the firepower is deployed in layer two. 
but the answer is very misleading because inline mode means layer 2 mode and then when you read the first option it looks like it's going to be in layer 3 because you make use of a router so it's actually a misleading question but that's the answer so I'm going to put in here or that should be the answer I'm going to put in here of A and C let's say submit survey and there we go all options all answers were correct there's a question from Ivan is IPS not corrective though ideas would be detective this question seem really ambiguous I'm surprised even what you're seeing here is unfortunately what you should expect in the exam or close to now let me be get back to that question and explain a bit more I agree with you it's misleading but basically you, you gotta read the question properly and you still may have some of the questions which you, you may not ex which you may not understand completely and provide a correct answers but that should be one to the very few of them if there are in if there are too many of them then you should raise a raise a uh, attack with uh, uh, not attack you should raise a case with Cisco's uh, certification team so even says is an IPS corrective though ideas would be detective so I I suppose everybody agrees that is that, that those systems out outlined in there video cameras CM solutions and IPS is not recovery and not determined so let's speak about corrective and detective. Now the CM can both detect an attack or a problem and then correct it. So it can detect an attack that has a scope of CM to correlate logs and detect attacks and then it can correct the attack by signaling by by basically um, by by speaking with other security solutions and asking the other security solutions to basically restrict network access for a specific uh, area of the network because something happened. So technically speaking, CM can be both defective and corrective. Detective and corrective. Then so IP cameras they are primarily the detective they are detective they detect you know uh, motion but they can also be corrective likewise if you have an intelligence system which can signal for example you may have an ip camera system which once if if it's basically if it real if it detects movement at 3 a.m. in the morning in a specific uh, you know a specific area of the uh, of the, of the company's uh, headquarters for example then it can actually take action and it can basically alert somebody or it can signal to a system that motion was detected in room number whatever and that system can basically take action and I don't know sound the alarm start the alarm or uh, close the doors or whatever so it is the primarily the, the IP camera is primarily a detective tool primarily a detective tool but it could also be corrective likewise CM is primarily a detective tool but could also be corrective and then the IPS intrusion prevention system now the main difference between IPS and IDS is not in the name of the product so you may believe that intrusion detection can detect uh, can basically detect uh, uh, attacks and intrusion prevention can prevent actually intrusion prevention is nothing else but the IDS system but deployed in line so because it's it lively see it, it sees in real time the live traffic it can not only detect but it can also it can also prevent right while an IDS, because it's not in inline mode deployed, is in span mode, can only detect and may be optionally correct, but only by integrating with other solutions. So IPS being in line is primarily, um, let me go back, it is going to be primarily a detective tool, detective, and 
preventive, not corrective. Because it's going to detect the attack and it's in its inline configure position is going to prevent the attack from happening. But it can optionally be likewise corrective if deployed with other solutions. So because the, the all of them IPS uh, the CM and the IP camera surveillance uh, surveillance system are primarily focused on detection and they can also do correction but only if uh, they are integrated with other security solutions, it makes sense that the, the answer is detective and not corrective. So even I hope it makes uh, even I hope it makes sense because honestly if you read this question properly and you know how each of those technologies work, this is actually a pretty clear question with pretty clear uh, about what is the correct answer answer actually. We just have to give it more thought and don't jump to conclusions that IPS is basically a corrective solution. You have to understand what corrective means and what preventive means. So even I hope I even I hope I answered the question.